Hello, I have some bushcraft knives in the works here. There's a tin pattern that I'm laying on some roughed out blanks. I've got three blanks there that I'm going to profile. Um, tell you a little bit about those blanks. Um, I torched them out with the cutting torch and then heated them cherry red, stuck them in lime to anneal them. Now I'm uh, scratching around my pattern and going to profile these blades on a abrasive wheel on a ball door buffer. And um, next, right here, I'll show you how to profile the blade with a, uh, this is a cutoff wheel that's mounted. I have a pedestal that I made. And uh, this is a low horsepower motor. Um, and this is pretty much real time in about eight or less than 10 minutes I had this knife blade profiled using this method. If you're a beginner and limited on tools but you want to make some knives this is a way to get started. An old timer that told me a lot about knife making um, he used this method. He had very little shop tools. He had bench grinders and some um, belt sanders that he had made you know, with wooden wheels and stuff and improvised a lot of his shop equipment. And, uh, that's where I kind of learned to do without um, some of the fancier machines that you can get. Kind of make some of your own equipment. Like I say, this is uh, about seven or eight minutes. I have this blade profiled, uh, kind of nibble away, grind away down to my line there. Hopefully, this will give you some ideas of what you can do to get started with your knife making. good deal to wear a uh, cotton mask. I've got a fan over there that's exhausting, uh, blowing out uh, all the stuff, the, the grinding dust out the window there. Can't see that. But, um, kind of got some fans going to help bring in some fresh air and blow out the, the, the grinding dust. If the blade gets a little hot on you, just um, have you a bucket of five gallon, uh, five gallon bucket of water there and dip your blade every now and then. As slow as I'm going, uh, cutting that out, and then I've got those insulated gloves on, I pretty much just keep going. One thing about that wheel, you can get up in tight spots where uh, a lot of times you can't get up in there with a uh, belt sander. That's one advantage of this setup like this. Kind of take it slow and easy, and I never uh, uh, compromise the, uh, that abrasive wheel. I, I don't put it in a bind of any kind. That wheel is marked. It'll go actually up to probably about three times as fast as it's going. This is a 1700 RPM buffer, and I think it'll go up to 50. 5400 
RPM. It's a high speed wheel, but I've got it on a low speed uh, buffer. Be sure and wear your safety goggles and uh, a breathing mask. After I get this blade profiled, my next step will to be uh, drill the tang hole. Figure out your pin size or the fasteners you're going to use. I've used Corby, ri Corby rivets and loveless rivets that I get from uh, a knife making supply. And I have made uh, brass pins myself out of welding rod by flaring, pre-flaring them on one end and uh, cutting them to the length they need to be and once I epoxy the handles on there I only have to brad them on one side I've done some tutorials on that you might take a look at those this is my bushcraft knife pattern kind of into the bushcraft knives now. I'm showing you how to make bushcraft knives with a limited amount of chop tools. I do have a acetylene torch rig. Um, a good, I've got a 157 pound hay button anvil I use. I've had it a long time. Anvil and stump is handy. A small drill press. Some work tables that are up high enough that, that are comfortable. You can set up a shop fairly easy. Four inch shop vice is also good. I've got a Wilton I really like. Just about got this blade profiled. As you will have noticed, that uh, cutoff wheel and that little ball door, uh, number 114, really does the job. Uh, and you can profile your blades on there. You can actually put the, the grind in the blade also with that if you don't have a belt sender. Uh, you may want to look into getting at least a 1 by 42 belt sender. There's several on the market that you can kind of strip all the shrouds and stuff off of so you can uh, do some uh, flat grinding and uh, polishing your blade. Thanks for taking your time to watch this tutorial and uh, over at Bushcraft Max I'll have a resource page there where it tells you about uh, knife making supplies and where to get them. Appreciate a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.